Okay guys, this is going to be a paper test on my ProLine bow. And uh, this was made in the early 90s. And uh, these were really uh, well made bows. I've got a video on this bow, bow right here. Uh, I think they were shooting about 260 feet per second back in those days, which uh, this one's got overdraw here, got three positions on the overdraw. Um, I've got it in the middle position. And uh, just got new string put on it. It's handmade. And uh, the string looks really good. The string today is about, uh, I think this is like $65. And the one I had on my, uh, got put on my Ben Pearson early 1990s bow. Handmade, and it was like $70 with installation and all, with bow press. But, uh, looks good. So I can tell from my sights a little bit, and I've got new arrows here uh, that I'm going to be tuning, and that's why I'm using the paper test right here. And uh, these right here are black label, uh, gold tip, 340, 340 spine. This bow shoots uh, between 60 and 80 pounds, 80, 60 and 80 pound adjustable. So, needs a stiffer spine. And so, go tip's kind of hard to beat. So, we'll try her out and see. Now this is our simple target here, similar to the one I used with the uh, target bow, uh, Ben Pearson target bow, the black and white one. And, uh, you know, just a arrow across here, tape it up at the top and put your paper here, go in certain depth here, um, and have your paper taunt. It's got to be kind of tight across there. So, we're going to see how this arrow is shooting at about uh, 8 to 8 to 10 feet. Okay. Hopefully we hit our backstop. Okay. This is nasty right here. Look at how much these arrows right here, instead of being straight, like they're like this. Well, about like that. They are way off. Okay. Yeah, this is a good paper tear right here. Point hits here, and the fletching is right here. Okay, and that's almost four inches. So it's throwing them to the side really bad. So, in order to correct that, so that is to say, with your arrow rest, if your fletching's hitting over here, and your point is hitting here to the left, you move your arrow rest horizontally that moves your fletching toward the point and if your point's hitting here and your fletching is hitting above that then you will move your point vertically up you'll go after the fletching by moving your point vertically up so that's the big difference fletching if it's to the right you move your arrow rest to the left to move the fletching that direction point is different if the fletching's up here and your points down here you move the arrow rest vertically upward to meet the fletching so let's see how that turns out okay guys looking at our paper test which is pretty much destroyed right uh, our first shot was like right here and the fletching tore back over here Okay, so it was about four inches long. So I adjusted my arrow rest a little bit, and then we got down to probably two and a half inches. Point hit here and fletching hit here. So I adjusted my arrow rest again. Remember, I'm, I'm moving, the fletching is hitting here and the point is hitting here. So I'm moving my arrow rest to the left. That moves my fletching to the left. On this shot right here, this is the point, and this is the fletching. The fletching here has gone on the other side of the point, so now I need to adjust my uh, arrow rest to the right 
okay, to get it more in line. So that's where I'm at. Okay, guys, this is where we're at now. Uh, I shot through it several times to make sure. Now we have the fletching cutting here, and we have the point right here, which is about dead center of the fletching. That's where you want it, okay? And it was like this right here. This is the whole. This is the point, and the fletching is over here. So we've got the fletching moved all the way here. I raised the point up vertically on my arrow rest just a tad, and that put the point to pretty much dead center of the fletching right there. Okay. So for a proline bow, that's not. That's pretty good. Because if your arrows are going like we started sideways, because these are new, brand new arrows right here for this bow. These are 340 spine because it's a 60 to 80 pound bow. And uh, I was using all kinds of arrows, uh, cheap arrows like these right here. Now you can, I have cut these arrows in half using this method right here. So use a cheap arrow uh, in case you hit it with a point. But I have cut, the, cut one of these in half ones. So anyway, the main thing is that we have our arrows going in uh, perfect into our target. And right now, that's what it appears to be. I got the arrow rest adjusted right, and I've got the uh, elevation and horizontal. So now, uh, again, we're kind of cooking with grease. So these arrows should shoot a lot true, especially when you get out 50, 60, 70 yards. So now the next thing to do is test it out. So, once you've got your bow shooting straight like this, you can imagine shooting 40, 50, 60, 70 yards with your arrow going sideways. It's, fletching will help a lot, but not like this. So that should be fairly tuned. And uh, on my vertical, on my sights, I was having to pull them way over here to the right to get it to shoot toward the center of the target. And it was really too close to the right side of my uh, sight picture. So now I know I'll be able to bring it back out. And uh, but anytime you get new arrows, uh, which is a lot better than what I had before, of course, uh, you're going to have to tune them a little bit. And I really haven't done much to these right here to tune them. The arrow itself. I'm just tuning the bow to the arrow. You tune the arrow to the bow or the bow to the arrow. Turn, tune them both together. So, and I'll work on tuning these arrows uh, in another video. Because if your arrow shooting to the left of your target, like say that center part's orange, that's a stiff arrow. If it's shooting to the right of the target, that's a weak arrow. If it's shooting up, Above the target, that's your knock. It's not in the right place. If you're shooting down below the orange target, that's your knock. So then you got to adjust your knock so it hits center of the target. Okay. If your arrow is too stiff, you can weaken it by having a, uh, a longer arrow. Um, if you cut it down too short to start with, you're not going to be able to make it longer, so you won't be able to make it weaker if it's too stiff that way so that's why i like to shoot arrows that are full length and then go from there on how much i got to cut down like a half inch at a time or something if the arrow's too stiff uh, you can make it weak by putting a heavier point on it if it's too stiff um, you can make it weaker by uh, increasing your poundage on the bow and that will make it weaker and if it's too weak over here, you can make it stronger or stiffer by um, having a shorter arrow and by uh, increasing the point weight on the front of it and uh, by uh, decreasing your poundage on your bow. That'll make it stiffer. So we're okay right here. So now to adjust the sights on this bow, I got adjusted 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 yard sights on this bow now. And I got to adjust my vertical because my arrows are not going to hit vertical I don't, uh, now, I know, because I, they were such an extreme. So I got to adjust my vertical 
uh, alignment on my sights and I gotta adjust my horizontal on each one of my sights. So, uh, it's kind of fun doing that. So, that's where I'm at now, guys. Okay, this is at 50 yards here with the pro line, and the arrows are pretty straight. And um, for me, this is a pretty good group right here, but three and a half fingers wide, well, actually, three fingers wide. And, um, but uh, I'm just in my sights, and you, you see where I'm at right here. I'm kind of a tad high and about an inch. Well, inch to uh, the two inches over to the right. Just got to adjust them over and drop it down a little bit on my pen sight. But, you know, for me, that's not bad. At 50 meters. So, now I'm going to 60 meters. I have to adjust this. 